The Northrop F-89 Scorpion was an American twin-engine interceptor built during the 1950s. It was one of the first jet fighters equipped with guided missiles, and the first aircraft armed with air-to-air -air nuclear weapons, the Genie rocket. In August 1945, the U.S. Army Air Forces issued a specification for a night fighter intended to replace the Northrop P-61 Black Widow. The specification required an aircraft with two engines and six guns. In November, the specification was revised, adding a desired maximum speed of 530 miles per hour, which in effect meant that all submissions needed to be jet-powered. The aircraft was also required to be able to carry aerial rockets, and the guns were to be automatically controlled by radar. For ground attack, the capability to carry 1,000-pound bombs was required, as well as at least eight rockets. In March 1946, the U.S. Army Air Forces selected the Curtis Wright XB-87 Black Hawk and the Northrop N-24 designs to proceed with. The Northrop N-24 was given the designation XB-89, and a mock-up was constructed. The Air Force inspected the mock-up on September 25, but had some reservations. They wanted to move the radar operator forward, and replace the magnesium alloy of the wing with aluminum alloy. The fuel tank placed directly above the engines was moved. Additional changes were made after wind tunnel testing. The original swept wing design was changed to a thin straight wing. The horizontal stabilizer was moved halfway up the tail, and forward. The high-mounted stabilizer made Northrop employees call the aircraft the Scorpion. The name was later adopted by the Air Force. In 1948, the Air Force changed the designation from XP-89 to XF-89, and on August 16 the first prototype made its first flight. The Allison J-35A9 turbojets turned out to provide insufficient power for the aircraft. A few months earlier, the Air Force had evaluated the three existing alternatives for all-weather interceptors, the XF-87, the XF-89 and the XF-3D. The experienced night fighter pilots that had evaluated the aircraft were not impressed by any of them. Because of this, an interim aircraft was developed, the Lockheed F-94 Starfire. The second prototype went through a weight reduction program, and the engines were upgraded to the more powerful Allison J-33A21, which had an afterburner. Several other changes were made such as adding an ANARG-33 radar and a Hughes E-1 fire control system. The prototype was redesignated the YF-89A, and was completed in February 1950. Production of the F-89 was authorized in January 1949, and the first production F-89A flew in September 1950. It was armed with six 20mm T-31 cannons, and had fuel tanks permanently fitted to the wingtips. The F-89As were mainly used for tests, and were upgraded to F-89 standard before entering service. The F-89B had new avionics, and it entered service in June 1951. It suffered major problems with the engines and other systems, and was soon replaced by the F-89C. However the problems continued, and all F-89s were grounded. The F-89D entered service October 23, 1954. It had no cannon, but a new fire control system and an upgraded radar as well as a computer. It was armed with two pods of 52 2.75-inch FFAR rockets. F-89 EF and G versions were proposed, but never built. The F-89H had an E-9 fire control system, and massive new wingtip pods containing three Falcon missiles and 21 FFARs each. The performance of the F-89H proved inferior to new supersonic fighters, and the type was phased out by 1959. The last version of the Scorpion was the F-89J, which was based on the F-89D. It had replaced the wingtip pods with 600-gallon fuel tanks, and had the ability to carry a single MB-1 Genie nuclear rocket under each wing. The F-89J was the only aircraft to actually fire a live Genie rocket, during a nuclear test in 1957. The Scorpion was retired in 1969. 1,050 production aircraft were produced.